Hey guys, it's Jessica here. And yes, as you guys saw from the title of this video, I am doing a reaction video in a while. And that is because recently or over the past few months, you guys have been requesting me to react to the series, the historical portal fantasy series by GMA Network, Maria Clara at Ibarra. GMA is taking us back to the past. Sino ka ba talaga? At bakit mo ako sinusundan? Maria Clara at Ibarra. So honestly guys, when I first heard the title of the series of this Filipino uh, drama series, I was like, wow, Noli finally came out in drama, in live action. I was like so happy because I am a huge fan of the book myself. I of course read the English version when I was in high school because I went to high school here in the Philippines, right? So it's a mandatory thing, so I did read Nolly, but I actually reread Nolly last last year because there was a Korean version of Nolly that came out. Korean version as in it was translated in Korean and there was the one and only Korean copy of Nolly. Yay! So that's how it looks like. Yeah. And as I reread the book, I also thought like you know, it would be really nice if they came out with like a series um, of, of this, of this film, of this book, I mean, and it did. Yeah. So just a quick recap on the novel itself. Noli Mitangere is the first novel written and published by the Filipino national hero, Jose Rizal. And this was written in 1887 during the Spanish colonial era in the Philippines. So the plot of Noli revolves around the main character, Crisostomo Ibarra an heir of a wealthy clan who returned to the Philippines after seven years of studying in Europe. So Ibarra is the protagonist of the story, but more than following the story of Ibarra, it also depicts Spanish colonization in the country and how badly they oppressed and abused the Filipinos back then. And now a quick recap on the drama itself, Maria Clara at Ibarra. So it says here that Maria Clara at Ibarra is a TV drama broadcasted by Jamie Network based on the novels of Rizal, Noli Mitangere, and El Filibusterismo. Huh? Filibus... Filibusterismo. El Filibusterismo. And the show is about a Gen Z nursing student named Maria Clara, also known as Clay, who one day wakes up and finds herself inside a world of Nolly. Wow! Okay, so this reminds me of um, there is this um, Korean series called Pongdang Pongdang Love. That's a drama where the Gen Z high schooler who's just about to take her Korean SAT test in high school and she suddenly wakes up during the Joseon Dynasty era where she meets Sejong Daewang or King Sejong who made Hangul the Korean language, the Korean alphabet today. So it's not really a very serious, deep, and very heavy historic dramas. I'm actually curious because like there is already Maria Clara in, in the book, right? But a girl whose name is Maria Clara goes back in. So I'm imagining probably like there's gonna be some kind of... No, no, I'm serious. Ibarra falling in love with the clay? The new Maria Clara? I don't know. I do see here that many people praise this show for first of all, there is appreciation for women in the show. So I think it's because this drama shows the evolution of how women and the society think and perceive before compared to now. So this is also something very similar to those historic Korean dramas because you can really tell like the roles of the women were so clear. Guys, actually recently I just binge watched Mr. Sunshine. You guys have to watch that. In that drama, it also shows how before in Korea, the role of women, how they are treated as they, they cannot go to uh, you know, the school or anything because they shouldn't know about those things. So watching that drama, I also felt how you know, it really changed the role of women in society. And then there are also lots of appreciation for production. I'm excited. Production? But this meme over here, not meme. This photo over here looks really good. Sino kaya ang mab ang mabait ng pwede ng maglista ng lahat ng shooting locations ng Maria Clara Bar? Yeah, this 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 place looks really good. Wow. So they probably like shot this in in Vigan or something or Intramuros. 
But anyway, so I know that there are already so many episodes that has been released. So now I'm going to pick some of the notable ones. Okay, so let's begin from episode 2, the moment where it shows Padre Damaso. Wow. The production quality really stands out the first thing. Oh my god, the Tagalog's so hard. Oh her acting is like so good. Guys, but the thing is, there are no English subs. <sighs> My Tagalog is not that good to understand this completely, but I, I understand a bit. But wow. Let's see some other scenes. The first time Clay meets Ibarra. You can do that in Intramuros, the, the, the horse. <gasps> That's Ibarra? Oh my god, guys, wait. I have to say that I just recently watched the Mr. Sunshine, the historic K drama, right? Like, it really reminds me of that in a way that also how the production quality is really high. Even that drama, very high production quality. Mr. Sunshine is also a drama back then during the late 1800s in Korea, which is a time when Korea was pretty much very unstable politically because of other countries intrusion on the country of Korea like Japan, the States. So there are a lot of Japanese speaking Koreans during that era. So they keep switching from like speaking Japanese to Korean, Japanese and this how like it keeps switching from Spanish to Tagalog. It's so it reminds me of it so much. Nakita kami kanina doon sa ano, ah, uh, via... Vietario, kung saan siya na kolehyo? Mismo. I'm actually also really impressed by his, the way he speaks Tagalog. Like, it's really, the accent is like, different. It's like Spanish style Tagalog. Grabe. Ito ka po po. Ay, ako makapaniwala na kailangan kita. Ang kala ko kasi sa nobela na... Oh yeah, he's guapo! Okay, so the next one is episode 4 where the famous Dinola scene is coming out. Like reading this scene in my head, I always imagine like, oh, Dinola. <gasps> Let's see if the drama is similar to my imaginations. Yeah, I have to say, really the art of this is really good. The presentation, the props, costumes, the style, those things, I think they really, really did it well. Alam niyo, sa lahat ng pagkain dito sa Las Pilipinas, Las... itong tinola ang aking paboritas. Es muy delicioso. Delicioso. Now let me watch episode 23, sorry, a big jump because I really the Sisa scene. Basilio! <gasps> Basilio's gone! Wow, but she's so gorgeous. I like the act actress. But honestly though, like when I was doing the character analysis, I never really thought that Sisa was actually like super crazy. I guess like there were moments, there were some scenes, but then most importantly, she is a mom who lost her children. You know, I'm really impressed on their acting. 
like not only the main character because the main character she's like very lovely and bubbly but those those scenes of like the other actors where they're really mourning over something or it's so crazy so yeah well i want to keep watching this drama especially as long as there is some english subs like please please make english subs because this is really outstanding series i must say but of course i haven't watched like the whole thing i'll still watch it probably i actually want to watch this with leah i think leah is also going to love this nowadays i'm learning about rizal rizal yeah he's What's like the rizal? yeah and they have like 11 11 siblings and yeah. he also had around 11 girlfriends actually I don't want to know about that. <laughs> as far as I know, I know Maria Clara Edibara isn't the first historic drama series, but definitely it's the first one in a long while. And, and with this new refreshing take that the creative team of Maria Clara Edibara added on the famous novel, Naoli Mi Tanere, I think it's no wonder why so many people are showing love and support for this show. So I really hope that this show also serves as a kind of inspiration in the Philippine drama industry for them to make more diverse content, different variety of shows, dramas. I think that's really amazing because it will eventually help the local film industry, local content creating industry, which is really a good thing. <laughs> Anyways, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any other content or anything that you want me to react to that would be interesting. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.